Every morning, somewhere in the county, on a street just like this one, law-abiding citizens roll out their trash bins. By now, most of us have three bins, a black or gray for regular garbage, a blue bin for cans and cardboard and glass, and a green one for all our yard waste. These people want to do the right thing, recycle their trash. But what if we told you the stuff in this bin was going to the same place as the stuff in this one? That it doesn't matter whether you separate your yard waste from your regular garbage because it all ends up in the same place anyway. Here, in a landfill, ground up on top of all the regular trash. Every day, six days a week, thousands of tons of yard waste goes through a grinder and is put into the landfill. In California, it's called recycling, the only state in the country that gives cities recycling credit for dumping yard waste in the landfill. The green waste is not recycled in the, what people would expect. So I shouldn't worry about when an occasional piece of paper drops into my green container. You tell me. You no, know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If what you're telling me is true, then it doesn't matter. It does matter where your yard waste ends up, and this is why. Wayne Williams is a recycling expert for the unincorporated county of San Diego. Uh, green material in the landfill is bad because it rots, and during the rotting process, methane is produced, all kinds of noxious gases, hydrogen sulfide, uh, can uh, cancer-causing volatile organic compounds are produced. Grass clippings, all the green that surrounds us in San Diego County is organic material. So is food waste, even paper. When organics are buried in a landfill and deprived of oxygen, they produce methane gas. And methane has another name, greenhouse gas, the kind that causes global warming. Methane is between 21 and 24 times more potent as a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. Bad for the environment, but as we'll show you tonight, it may be good for business. At the Sycamore Landfill in Santee, the grinder works throughout the day to shred all the green waste that is dumped here. Once the green material passes through the grinder, it's called Alternative Daily Cover, or ADC. That transformation in size and name makes it a recycled material in California. Landfills are free to use it to cover the garbage at the end of the day instead of using dirt or tarps. The trash has to be covered to keep away rats and odors. So layer by layer, most of your green yard waste gets buried here with all your other garbage. In 2006, according to the California Integrated Waste Management Board, San Diego County buried more than 262,000 tons of ground-up yard waste in two of its major landfills, both owned by Allied Waste Industries. There is an exception in the county. The largest landfill, Miramar, is operated by the city of San Diego. It uses plain old dirt to cover the trash almost all the time, rarely using the green stuff. Instead, Miramar composts the yard waste it picks up from recycle bins. Composting is a process that turns greenery into nutrient-rich mulch that's good for soil and plant growth. Done the right way, it doesn't produce methane gas is using green waste as ADC. Is that recycling? Of course not. <laughs> Mary Matava owns and operates this compost facility in Oceanside, one of the few cities where all green waste is recycled by composting rather than putting it in a landfill. Matava started composting around 10 years ago, around the same time California was trying to figure out what to do with all its trash. Under a law, AB 939, every city and town was ordered to eventually recycle half of all its garbage. The problem? What to do with all the yard waste? Grinding it up and putting it in the landfill was supposed to be a temporary measure until enough compost facilities were built. But the temporary solution morphed into a state law when an environmental group challenged the practice in court. Before a judge had a chance to rule whether using green waste to cover garbage was recycling or dumping, the state ushered in a law declaring it recycling. Back before AB 939, when we were just putting green waste in the landfill, it would just come in as the trimmings from your yard or tree trimmings get thrown in the landfill. What happens with ADC 
is that it gets ground up so you get a size reduction on it, which spurs microbial activity, which is then put in an environment without oxygen, which is creating loads and loads and loads of these anaerobic gases, some even more damaging than methane. Escondido. Pick up the city of Escondido. Do you do Imperial Beach? We do. La Mesa? We do. Lemon Grove? We do. Steve South is president of EDCO, one of the state's largest waste haulers and recyclers. It has most of the contracts to pick up green waste in the county. It brings about 85% to landfills, 85% which is ground up and buried. So is picking up green waste, grinding it up and putting it into the landfill as ADC, is that, is that recycling? It's certainly recycling under the state laws as we know it now. That law was passed in 1996. According to the California Integrated Waste Management Board's latest figures for 2006, the unincorporated area of San Diego County is at the top of a dubious list. It dumps more than 60,000 tons of yard waste into landfills. And remember Miramar Landfill? We told you it rarely uses the stuff. But not all green waste is picked up by city trucks. Private haulers can bring it anywhere, and they do. The city of San Diego contributed 42,000 tons of green waste to Sycamore and Otay landfills. It's second on that list. And every ton gets counted as recycling. If it wasn't for all those recycling credits, four jurisdictions in San Diego County would not meet their required 50% recycling rate. They are Escondido, La Mesa, Chula Vista, and unincorporated San Diego County. Neil Moore is general manager of four landfills in the county, all owned by Allied Waste Industries. And so by us processing the material here, we're enabling these communities to get these recycling credits. And I think the question always is, well, it's still going into the landfill. It's going, it's being used at the landfill. It's not really going into the landfill. And I think that's the, the, the issue that we really need to look at. Moore says the law requires landfills to cover the garbage every day. Many landfills use dirt, others use tarps. Here at the Sycamore landfill, they spread a foot deep layer of green material and then use tarps. Moore says the practice saves precious landfill space because rotting green waste takes up less space than dirt. I'm in Chula Vista, the second largest city in San Diego County. This community contributed nearly 33,000 tons of green waste as ADC into landfills in 2006, and it got recycling credit for it. Lynn France heads up the city of Chula Vista's recycling program. There really isn't a compost market for it. What, what we have right now at the landfill is the only market we have for our green waste. If we didn't have that, we wouldn't be at 50%. France is right. A state report says California needs 100 new composting plants to accommodate the millions of tons of green waste going into landfills. Until those compost facilities are operating, France says Chula Vista's yard waste will be buried in landfills. It is an approved method of diversion. Um, landfill Even it's creating methane gas? Organics Landf in the landfill? Landfills in general create methane gas and the methane gas is being managed out of the landfill. It's not like material that goes into the landfill starts to decompose, generates methane gas and it just percolates up through the soil and into the atmosphere. They, they do a very active job of monitoring and controlling and using that methane gas. We generate electricity with it. But 25 percent um, does actually make its way into the atmosphere. There's no, I don't know that there's 25 percent, but I can't answer that. I'm not allied. I'm not. I don't California, run landfills. The California Air Board says 25 percent. That's, but and I would debate that a little bit too. Lynn France may want to debate that number, but according to the California Air Board, 25 percent of all methane emissions from landfills are considered fugitive. Despite various gas capturing techniques, one quarter of the gas escapes into the atmosphere. Since 1998. All of the jurisdictions in the county have deposited 1.5 million tons of organic material into our active landfills. The total conversion of that tonnage into gas is almost, of that material, is almost um, 1.4 billion cubic yards of gas. That's a lot of gas. And there's money in that gas. Neil Moore says methane gas isn't all bad if it's converted to electricity. 
Two of his landfills convert the methane they're able to capture to electricity, enough to create 10 megawatt hours of power a day. Because of the cost of the collection system, it's not one that we make a lot of money. It's really more an environmental control. Allied sells most of that electricity to the power grid. We asked a Berkeley economist to calculate how much money a 10 megawatt plant could earn in a year. His answer? Between four and six million dollars. And how much money can a landfill owner make from 260,000 tons of green waste calculated at $22 a ton? 5.7 million dollars. But that is an income stream, and it's a very lucrative income stream for, for the landfill owners to take in this green waste, grind it up and, throw, and put it back in the landfill and say it's a beneficial reuse. The more you put in the landfill, the more money you make. Of course. It's profitable, it's legal, and it's cheaper. Those are the reasons why uh, it's being done at this time. There may be little incentive for a businessman to compost or for a city short on recycling credits to figure out another way to recycle all of this. The state board that regulates recycling efforts by all communities in California met not long ago to talk about ADC. The question they posed is using green waste as cover in the landfill recycling or is it just dumping? The board has yet to decide. A spokesperson tells us that even if the board does decide eventually that it's really dumping and not recycling, they can't stop the practice because they don't have the power to change the law. The guy at home might say, wait a minute, everybody's making money off my green waste and my green waste is still ending up in the landfill. What do you say to him? I would say to him, would you like to keep your green waste? You know, we have uh, composting operations, they can go to, to one of the uh, supply stores and get a composting uh, device and they can put it in their backyard and compost it. We'll, we'll certainly like to do that.